There are a couple ways that you can score assignment. First of all, you can go into the grade book and then just kind of using the grid, you can actually type in assignments. So uh, let's say here, if this was the assignment you need to enter and you could just kind of click on each of the boxes and you can add scores uh, to it just using your number key. So that's kind of one way to do it. You can also uh, go into the assignment And then uh, you'll, it'll bring you to kind of the editing menu where you can edit the assignment. On the bottom, you'll notice that there is a button that says score. So you click on the score, and then uh, you select which section, if you have multiple sections kind of applied to that assignment, select which section you'd like to score, hit OK. And then it'll bring up another menu where you can kind of uh, enter in the numbers here. You can also uh, put in your comments and uh, missing late or other uh, notes that you want to add as well. There's also a fill scores uh, section where if you click on fill scores, uh, then you just have to select what score you want to fill for all of them. Let's say it's uh, something where uh, the majority of the students got a 12 out of 12 or 12 out of something. You can fill it and then go through and change the ones that didn't get the uh, the full 10. So that's kind of a way where you can kind of quickly uh, add scores to the whole line. Or sometimes it's helpful, like if you have a score, most of all the scores are like in the teens, and then you can just put it at 10, and then it just kind of saves you a step too. So that's an option for you. Again, just make sure that uh, if you're before you leave, you have to click save for it to actually uh, fill in. Comments can be also added in here as well as if you have missing assignments. By typing in M in the field, it'll automatically mark as missing as well. So that's just a couple ways that you can kind of mark assignments. Again, make sure to save before closing. And then those will pop up into the gradebook uh, grid once they have been completed. So uh, there's two ways, again, to fill in your grade book. Really, uh, it's kind of up to you what you what preference you like. Uh, if you're making marks in the grade book, you'll notice that there's not really a spot where you can uh, put the marks. Again, there's kind of that arrow that'll help expand things. So if you expand it here, it gives you all the same options in, that you saw in that menu where you can put um, missing or late, you can add comments. And again, uh, when you're working in this gradebook grid, make the save buttons over here, make sure we're saving after every change that you make. So that's how you uh, score assignments in gradebook.